Welcome to episode 446 of the Pittsburgh Nerd Podcast. I'm Sean. I mean, and this is the only podcast that says... Ho, ho, ho. Now I have a machine gun, too. Nice. <laughs> it's the Christmas festival holiday. We're at the Nerd Corner live. I thought I'd try to make it festive, but I can't do it. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> but everybody should come down to the Nerd Corner and they get should. Christmas gifts for everybody. They, they should. Yes. Yeah. It, it's the place to be. It's the place to see. All sorts of good stuff. I Just last week I purchased, they had the starting line of figures. Right. You might want to look at them. There's a Shaq one in there. I think oh, it was really? a Kobe too, yeah. But I picked up a Marino and a Cordell Stewart. Why? Because the only stealer they had. and Marino I get. Yeah. Cordell? Cordell, you know. Come on, dude. Cordell was a quarterback who was ahead of his time. Like I think if I think if Cordell was playing now, Agreed. he would thrive. He gave a lot ahead of in his time. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was uh that, that was a low blow. That, that, that was a, <laughs> a from the knees shot. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Thad chimes in. Thad the started Thad. to salivate after he said that. He did. He did. He got excited. <laughs> um, it, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think if Cordell was playing today, he'd probably be an elite quarterback. It's just at the time that he played, offenses weren't designed to do yeah, what he could do. Yeah, I know. I get it. Yeah, uh, you put him in a in a running RPOs. Yeah, it, it'd fucking dominate. Yeah, you know. Agreed. But back then it was. Back, you know, three, five, seven step drops. Well, they were trying to change him to a guy that, you know what I'm saying, that he wasn't. Yeah, but I mean, like, but the 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 the, the offenses at the time, and nobody had the the vision to kind of like do the th- like the things that they're doing now with these mobile quarterbacks. Like, right. yeah, I look at like what they do with Russell Wilson. I look at what they do with the the kid in Buffalo. Lamar Jackson. Not Lamar Jackson. No, Lamar Jackson is a completely different beast. Like. Lamar Jackson is an athlete that they put at quarterback. Like, if you look at Lamar Jackson, he's not an accurate passer. Like, you look at the Steeler game, the, Steel, the, the game the Steelers won. Why did they win that game? He's not a very accurate passer. Like, how many times did you see guys that were wide open that he overthrew? Because he's not an accurate passer. He's just, he's a very, very, very great athlete. Like, like Cordell. Like, no, but Cordell, Cordell's problem was. The style of offense he needed to run was like what they do with with Russell Wilson. You know, they needed to do more bootlegs. They needed to do more things where they allowed him to to create. Where back then it was three, five, seven step drops, throw the ball. That's what you do. You know, it, it, the offensive systems were just different back then than they are now. Like some, I mean, so the concepts remain the same, but like the how the quarterback play was designed is completely different. And especially if you're like if you're going now, if you're going shotgun, eighty percent of the time, you're and you're spreading the field out with three and four receivers, which is what they didn't do then. They were still the Steelers were still running a two tight end set on a regular basis at that time. It was power football with play action passing. You know, the 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 the, the style of football they play now, where you know you're running three receivers, the tight end split out, and you're running like a basically like a run and shoot style offense almost where the quarterback is making the read and making a determination if it's a run pass and then you know playing it from there I mean that that just didn't exist back then so, you're shaking you're shaking your head like yeah, you know, you're, right. you're right I mean I'm not going to tell you Cordell's a great quarterback but I think if he was playing today he would I think his story would be much different yeah you know just because of the way offenses are designed they would they would have played to his his um, his strengths more. The Steelers' offense at the, in the late nineties not play to his strengths. They they played to what Bill Cowher wanted the offense to be, which was Front. three yards in a cloud of dust and a third down. We'll throw the ball if we have to, you know. Yeah. With Neil O'Donnell. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, that's why Neil O'Donnell thrived in that offense. I mean, he wasn't expected to be the focal point of it. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like, I mean, and that's not a knock on Neil O'Donnell. It's just, like, the second you had to put the game in his hands where you, you needed him to make a big play, like, he, he just wasn't that guy. He was a game manager. Yeah. yeah. As long as you, you kept him in the game, he was fine. The second you had to, like, make big plays, he was, it was a problem for him. Yeah. Sports. 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 Penguins are doing pretty good now. Too. They are. I mean, thank good. I mean, they're gonna have something. To, I mean, you know, the pit season's over. Pit basketball stinks. The Steelers get just absolutely hammered in Minnesota. Thank goodness for the Penguins. Give me something to root for. And in a season where like nobody was like, ah, they, they, they're gonna stink this year. They started off slow. They did, but I mean, they they, they got it chugging quick. They did. Um. The last thing I'll say about that Steeler game, I just can't believe how much they ran on them. I, I understand why. We don't have to go into that. But still, holy heck. Those there, holes were wide. There were holes that Thad's mom could have run through. <laughs> nice. I mean, it was brutal. <laughs> wow, it's awful. I said the defensive line looked like diarrhea. Everything was running through it. I mean, it, it, it was. I think, and I think it's a combination of two things. I mean, one, you're coming off of a really physical game against Baltimore. And now you have a short turnaround. Like, a lot of those guys, like, I'll bet Cam Newton's not ready to actually, like, practice until Thursday. Cam Newton? Not Cam Newton. Um, Cam Hayward. Yeah, Cam, Cam Newton. Like, Cam, Cam Hayward probably is like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just laying in bed until Thursday. Right. You know, like. Don't, don't even bother me. So, like, they, they have to play a game on a Thursday, especially after, like, a physical game like that on Sunday. Oh, my God. That, that, that can't bode well for you. You, you, you. They looked exhausted is what – I mean, I've heard people like, well, they, they looked like they just weren't playing. I, they, no, they looked tired right, right. is what they looked like to me. Like, like, they looked physically exhausted, and I think it's because they, they played Baltimore the week before. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna say they pulled their shit together in the second half. I think that was more Minnesota finding ways to give the game away, which has been their mo all year. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think it's just a, it's for the Steelers' defensive line, the front seven. I think they were just beat up, and then you ha- you come in with another team that's going to be physical with you, and they just couldn't stand up to it. Change subject. What's uh, why did Whipple leave? I think money. Really? Because the rumor is he's going to Nebraska. Yeah, that's for double the money. Yeah. Like, Pitt is notorious for not paying their ass- ass- assistant coaches. Yeah. Like, Pitt's notorious for not paying their coaches, period. Right. You know, and, like, that was something that, like, uh, I mean, going all the way back to, you know, the Wanstash, Dave Wanstat, like, he, he was, like, fighting because he couldn't attract decent assistant coaches. Because they pit just doesn't pay. Well, that's kind of their MO. Yeah, that's, that's definitely their MO. So, I mean, like, I think as the problem is, like, I think Mark Whipple looked at it as, okay, well, I've done, I've taken this project in Kenny Pinkett. I've made him a superstar. Um, They're offering me a whole lot more money. See ya. Yeah. Deuces, you know. Yeah. And I, I don't blame him. I, I, I mean, he's probably... He probably has to leave now because of recruiting. Right, right. So you go to Nebraska, now you can start recruiting the player. Like, you can go down there and start saying, okay, well, here's my quarterback situation. We need to find ourselves a quarterback that fits my system. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, you know, going in and talking to recruits and telling them, like, well, this, you saw what I did with Kenny Pinkett, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, he was a piece of trash when I found him. <laughs> you know, I made him into a Heisman finalist. So I think, I think that's the whole deal is just I, I think it, they're – Anywhere else in the country is going to pay more money than Pitt will. And when you have a decent assistant like that, I think it's, you know, at some point they're just going to leave. Yeah. I mean, unless they have some sort of ties to the community or something, they're just, you're just not going to keep assistants. Right. And, like, my concern becomes, like, who does Pitt find to be the next offensive coordinator? Yeah. Because, again, it goes back to what I was saying, like, last week, like, this is a program on the precipice. Like, is this a one-hit wonder for them, or is this the standard now? Yeah. Like, is, are 10-win seasons the standard 
that you're going to hold yourself to, or are you going to go back to being a seven and eight win team and being happy going to the Cheez It Bowl? Right, right. You know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, so that's hmm. like you, you, you can be a top fifteen team, be a ten win team, be in that competition every year, or you can fall back to being. Hey, Pitt's in the top 25, they're 23 this week, right, and being right. happy, you know. And part of that's going to fall now on, like, who's your offensive coordinator. Right, right. You know. Because that's what kids look at. Kids like, what kind of offense are you going to run? Right. You know, Mark Whipple ran this offense. I'm interested in running this offense. It's a pro-style offense. I like what they did. You're bringing in somebody else, they're running something completely different. Um, I'm not coming here. For the pay, they can just steal somebody from CCAC. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but recruiting is so big. I mean, you don't want to – these kids want to get their shot. And they want to be in a system they can get that shot. <laughs> nah, we'll see. See what they do. I mean, it's the, it's the oddball thing, though, of, like, Pitt. Like, if you, it's an oddball thing. Like, you look at Pitt. They churn out pros. Yeah. They do. You know, it's that odd thing of, like, I nev- I've never understood how, like – Aaron Donald. Aaron Yeah, Aaron Donald. Like, you, you, you go back to – you know, Antonio Bryant, you go back to Larry Fitzgerald, you go to um, uh, Daryl Rivas. Was Aaron Donald at Pitt? No. Errol Donald was at Pitt. I mean, th- th- there's this long line, especially in this century particularly, yeah. of Pitt, Pitt players in the pros who excel in the pros. Dion Lewis yeah. was another guy. Like, you forget he went to Pitt, but he was a Pitt guy. And uh, I never understood how you could have so many – quality players who who make become great professionals but yet this team always seems to waller in that six seven eight win area right right you know while other schools that we won't name can't turn out a pro except at linebacker the rare occasion that a good running back hits but all of a sudden he becomes injury prone yeah. <laughs> you know um but yet yeah they're constantly a top 10 top 15 team yeah right you know it's like you forgot, how, you forgot tight end too. yeah oh too. yeah couple of them couple of them you know yeah tight end they, they produce some good tight ends yeah so I mean like it's an odd thing of like you know <clears throat> unnamed school from central Pennsylvania puts out a top 10 15 team every year but yet they can't put a pro to save their life Pitt puts out pros every single year and yet this is the year we're celebrating because it's like, oh, we finally made it. <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> this is what it feels like up here. Wow. I don't know how to act. Right. And then the coach leaves. Yeah. And then the assistant coach leaves. And it's yeah. kind of classic pit, right? It is. It's yeah. classic. I kept telling you, I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. There's yeah, the other I mean, shoe. Like, they could be blowing someone out 30 nothing. They, they In previous years, yeah. they would find a way to lose. Oh, I've seen it happen. <laughs> yeah. I've been there. Yeah, I know. We have been there. I'll never forget the year Pitt was at Iowa. It was taught the Todd Graham year. Pitt's playing Iowa at Iowa. They're up twenty-one to nothing. They ended up losing and it going into the fourth quarter, and they lost that game twenty-four twenty-one because Todd Graham insisted on continuing to run that stupid fucking no huddle, get up there, speed, speed, speed bullshit, and they kept going three and out because it took them like thirty seconds to run three plays. And I went right back the field, down the field on them. <laughs> and they lost 24-21 because of that bullshit. Like, I'll never forget that. <laughs> Still bitter. Oh, I am. I, I hate Todd Graham. Like, I, I read an article this week about Todd Graham. He's a coach at Hawaii now. Like, this is how far he's fallen, thank God. And like, at Hawaii, they're like, this guy's a son of a bitch that we hate. I'm like, yes! <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> nice. Fuck him in the ass. Oh, I hated it when they hired him. I was like, this guy is a snake oil salesman. He doesn't mean a fucking thing. He doesn't know what it means to be, a, 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 you know, in Western PA. He brought that stupid bullshit offense with him for one year, and then he was gone. You yeah. need a drink? I'm going to take one, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think he needs a smoke after that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Call the whore hotline. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, my phone's ringing. Yeah. Get this man a blow. <laughs> Calm him down. <laughs> 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 
I don't want anybody here to see my vinegar strokes. Nice. <laughs> we're not talking like we're not talking highway playground. We're yeah. talking <laughs> some central Pittsburgh. Beavers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Highway playground. Highway <laughs> playground. Oh. Oh, I think the building still there. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never forget the one of the first times I, I went in there with, so I can't name the name, but <laughs> no, I, you know what I mean. Yeah, I was in there with him too. So. Yeah, yeah. And then a chick comes out with her titties out trying to give me pizza. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I yeah. can't do that. Yeah. I just. Yeah. You can discuss, you can discuss and, it after. Yeah, we'll discuss it. Um, but. Uh, that weighed me out. Oh, yeah. And then there's like a hot dog roller. I'm yeah. like, what is happening right now? I would never eat a hot dog out of here. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I mean, the, my, my, my experience was, you know, you go in there, we sit down, and we're waiting for the girl to come on stage, and some some girl, all naked, comes over and puts down some popcorn in front of me. <laughs> I'm like, and the titties fell the popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> and what she was standing heck? up. The hell is this? A little snack do you enjoy? I, All right. I was told not to touch anything in here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a classic place. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Remember the filthy corral? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. That was a step up. It was. It was. It was a monstrous step up from the. Uh, like. The thing I'll never forget, I went one year. It, it was uh, Good Friday. <laughs> nice. And I took a bus down to Pittsburgh for the lunch sh- lunch buffet show. It was Missy Hyatt, okay, who was performing, and she's like, you know, this, she was like this valet in the '80s for uh, the NWA. She was Eddie Val, Eddie uh, Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert's va- valet, mm. and now she's stripping. Right, right. And I had like the hardest crush on her. So I'm like, I'm gonna go down. I had her book. I had her autograph my book and everything. But, you know, like, I go down, and it was, like, down there at Blush. Uh-huh. And then I have, like, this lunch buffet all set up. And I'm like, yeah, like, uh, you know, cause I, 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 they charged me more to get in for the lunch buffet. I'm like, yeah, I'll pass on that. <laughs> you really? Know? Yeah. Yeah, it was ridiculous. That tuna don't smell very good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And it was, like, eggs and bacon. And like I mean, it was like like a, a lunch like a brunch buffet. And I was like, no, thank you. I didn't touch it. And meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, there's like guys like you know, they're walking around with their plates, having a, like you know chicken leg. I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> chicken leg. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, no thanks. Where's that chicken leg been? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, like I'd like to see their safety certificates. Yeah. <laughs> the food and safety certificates, please. Uh, before I touch anything from that buffet. That's, that's how I felt about that, that fucking uh, pizza. Yeah. Or a hot dog. He puts his chicken leg down and reaches in for a dollar. Yeah. Right. What do you want on that hot dog? I don't want the hot dog. You got a little mustard. Uh... <laughs> yeah. How do I tell I you this? Mustard. I don't think that's mustard. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, yeah. I don't want you handling my food. I know no. what happens on stage. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's no... Like, th- those are two things that just don't go together, in my opinion. Like, like strippers and food. Like, it's just like... Th- th- they just don't go together at all. <laughs> right. Like, not even close. Not even. No. Like, they, sh- they, like, they shouldn't be within 50 feet of each other. <laughs> you know, but yeah, there they are. And, like, I'm like no thanks. Oh, it's a hard pass. <laughs> Uh, I'll take the fresh clams for ten bucks, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? They send these clams back. I think there's a hair in my clam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this man, this is going off the rail. Indeed. That's what we do. Yeah. Take oysters on a half shell, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Side of titty with that. Yeah. Like I wasn't even comfortable going to Hooters. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like that was like too close to like strippers for my liking. With my food. Right, right. You know, like, I'm like, uh, I don't know about this. Like, you know, <laughs> this doesn't seem to be uh, sanitary at it all. It always seemed like the Hooters chicks always had those stockings on from the 1960s. Oh. Yeah. They were like leggings. <laughs> it's like so, so weird to me. Really weird color. Like orange. Where did we go to Hooters at? What? 
was it Station Square that we used to go to all yep. the time? Yeah. Station Square. I think their food was shit. Was wasn't that the first one that was in Pittsburgh before? The one in yeah, I, the th- Station Square went in first, and then we put one in Monroeville. Yeah. And then yeah. Monroeville one shut down, and then... My dad used to take me to Hooters. Go figure. <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, they... That right started for, like, you know... Fucking, what's his name, endorsing cockfighting. <laughs> yeah. It's a wholesome family fun. I'm going to take my kid to Hooters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dad, I thought we were going for sushi today. No, nah, let's go over to Hooters. Yeah. I'm like, all right. I want a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I had hats from Hooters from everywhere. Oh. That's like, I don't know if that's like a <coughs> pin you want to wear now. No. <laughs> like back then. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know. Hey, man. I went to the Hard Rock, got a hat. Went to Hooters, got a hat. Look, my Hooters hat. This is from uh, Maryland. New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. Hooters, New Orleans. I wouldn't wear that hat to save my life today. No, seriously, I wouldn't wear a Hooters hat around. Might be worth money. No, but what I'm but, saying but say, is like, like, like it's they're the they're stigma. Just, it's the stigma of like you know, oh, you're a fucking pig. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. Right. Oh man. What and what about that? the guy that took like his whole family to Hooters? Like that, like always made me uncomfortable too. Like, cause like there's mom, dad, the kids, and, you know. Here comes the Hooters girl to take their out, and she's you know all bent over and doing the whole steal. You know, there's Dad like, yeah. And, you know, meanwhile his wife is like right fucking next to him, like, <laughs> right. like well, dude. Just pounding one down under the yeah. table. All right. Well, that's the thing. It's like, but it's like, you know, yeah. Do you want any appetizers? Uh, yes, I'll take six. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, milk. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what the thing is. They're selling. I like some cheese sticks. I mean, literally, they're selling sex for food. Yeah. In a in a PG way. Yeah. If that PG-13. Yeah, maybe PG-13. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's, like, hysterical, like, to think about, like, like who who in their right mind? Like, what woman would be like, oh, yeah, let's go to Hooters, honey? <laughs> yeah, dude. Family night out. Hooters time. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Hooters. Yay! Yeah. The kids, I'm yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, that used to be a thing, dude. It, I know, and it like it baffles me. I to thought no their end. food was garbage. It was. It wasn't very. very their good wings at all. were horrible. Yeah. Do you remember those wings? Yeah, they were okay. Nah, those okay were breaded. Those were breaded I, wings. They were just. I, I like a good breaded wing, but I think the problem is like like their sauces were good. Yeah. Like they had good sauce, but like the wings were themselves were trash. Yeah. I ordered twenty wings. Take out the wings. Just give me the sauce. <laughs> yeah. I don't even remember what else they had. Burgers, burgers and stuff. Yeah, like burgers, like cheese fries. Foot Shit like long. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to watch me eat this? Yes. yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Here's yeah. a push-up. The hot dog <laughs> eating contest is going to start in like 10 minutes in the back. Thank you. Tips always appreciated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was mine. Like, like, and like, like they still still around. Like, I, I mean, I guess they're still big in Florida. There's still like a Hooters Bowl, I believe. Get out. Of yeah. Here. Like they, they, they I, I mean, I remember not too long ago, like before we became the head, like the head coach of the Raiders, you know, like John Gruden was like on TV endorsing it and shit, like. <laughs> yeah, like, like you know, come on down to Hooters. I'm like, Big John, okay. Wow. Yeah. Like you'd be watching watching a bowl game, and then you know, there's John Gruden That's... talking about coming to watch the game at Hooters. It's just so weird to me. It is. Like it's so weird how we accepted it back then, but now it's kind of kind of unacceptable now. Well, it depends on where you go. Like I said, well, still big in Florida geographically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Much of the world is like, mm, I'm that. sure there's one in Arkansas somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you, know, right, you know. I'm sure there's still one somewhere in Mississippi. Maybe. Bama. <laughs> you know, I'll have to like, ask. Yeah. You know. I'm, I'm, Deep I'm, South. Yeah. That's so funny. Dude. It is. Oh, man. Fucking Hooters. It was like a step up from a strip bar. It was. <laughs> It absolutely was. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. the only that's the only reason you would go to Hooters. Yeah. Where do you think Blush got that idea with the buffet? Oh, I'm, I'm 
But like I've heard of that, like other, like I, like you always hear about like scores in New York, like and that was like you know you go there for like you know dinner, and a show, like the fuck I no I I do not want the, I don't want my food this close to my stripper. You know what I mean? Like it just th- this is this is not a combination that works for me at all. <laughs> and more importantly, it shouldn't work for the stripper. Like, like who who wants a guy who's just like pounded like twelve wings, like hand him a dollar bill? You know, I know I wouldn't. Right, right. I think that'd be greasy. You know, <laughs> condiments on it. And stuff. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> it's dirty money anyway. Well, All that money is dirty. Every time I that's that's why I rarely carry cash on me anymore. It's yeah, it's like it's just filth money. Money's filthy. You don't know where that shit's been. <laughs> that's why I've, you I've, don't. I've, literally. That's why I've never understood those people who like keep their cocaine on a dollar bill. Uh. And then like like you know so like, like they use like the razor blade to like take it off, take and then it like off. yeah like okay, I'm not gonna name names, but I was at a party one time. Okay. Okay. And tell me more. Dude, dude shows up at the party, friend of mine. Dude, I thought I knew pretty well. Yeah. And he has, has a couple of beers in him. He's with some friends. The next thing I know, he's pulling out money out of his wallet. And he's taking a razor blade and scraping off. And there's fucking cocaine on the table. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he's like snorting it up. Like, like you know, don't you say shit to nobody. And I'm like, I ain't saying shit to nobody. But really, dude? <laughs> like... He roll up the bill and yeah, start. yeah, yeah. But like he, he kept it like he, it was like somehow he like had it like padded onto the dollar bill so he could scrape it off and get the. I was just like, what the fuck? I never even heard of that before. Neither, I was like shocked. It was. I've been to a lot of parties too, and I yeah. never saw that one. Neither I. I only saw it once, but that's how he did it. And I thought, oh wow, that's uh. It's a shocking revelation. Then I heard like I mean people they say like you know there's a little bit of cocaine on every dollar bill. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah, I don't know. Like there's X amount of traces of cocaine on your money, because of people us, doing us that. Band kids, we never did cocaine. No, yeah, you band kids. <laughs> I know we are losers. <laughs> yeah, I smoked a lot of pot back in the day, <laughs> but I never went the coke route for some reason. You just weren't with Sean. <laughs> I wasn't snorting the coke. I always thought it looked goofy though. Like you walked into a party, you're having a good time, and all of a sudden they're they're. Uh, Lining up on the table, you know, and it's I only just, in the movies. But I think it's the dollar bill that actually grossed me out because I'm like such a germ phobe. Even back when I was younger, I was like, man, that's that's fucking. I'm not putting that. Your average bullet's bigger than one dollar bill. What's that? Your average bullet has less bacteria on it than one dollar bill. Yeah, I know. Fuck, yeah, man. I can't. That's why use hundreds. You don't just take one dollar bill for you. Know, you use, <laughs> you use a big one. bill. If you're, yeah. If you're buying nine, you don't have less like less people have handled it. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna pull. There's out. a man who's thinking. Yeah. Thank you, Keith, for that. I'm gonna pull out my two dollar bill that I have you yeah. know, in my uh, hope chest uh, yeah. from grandma's. Yeah, from grandma. My Chris grandma's Clean. silver certificate two dollar bill. That's what I'm using. Yeah, that's my. Uh, that's my. Uh, that's classy. That is. <laughs> that's good. Pinky's out and everything. Though. Yeah. Pinky nail out. Yeah. But, Pinky uh, nail out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, man, it's, I never got into that hard shit. So I don't know why. I just. I mean, it was around where we grew up. You know what I'm saying? Could have got the crack. <laughs> oh, I remember that face. Holy fuck! But I don't know. Most of the people I hung out with just never did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, pot was always around, but not like. And coke was around. I'm not gonna deny that. I just I didn't really associate myself with yeah. the drug. So I, no didn't really have that circle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And heroin. We never saw heroin. I never saw, I've, I've never seen heroin. Anybody shoot up heroin. No, neither Now it's I. like commonplace. Yeah. Did you, I, I, that I've wasn't really... When we were young, we, that just wasn't in the mix. Like you said, marijuana's always been around. Pot's always been around. Yeah. But, nah. Never Isn't that heroin. crazy shit? And there were shrooms and acid. I mean, that was yeah. always around. But that's, you know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 
Like I, I, I always beer. Yeah, I, I was, always, beer was always around. And party balls, baby. Yeah, yeah. You remember the party balls? Oh, party ball. Oh, party ball. Those are the best. What was it like? Two and a half cases of beer or something like that in a party ball. Yeah. It always pissed me off when they got a fucking Coors Light party ball. I was like, you can fucking. You can keep <laughs> yeah. That. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you even getting this? Yeah. What is the point of a Coors Light party ball? <laughs> It's like, I just, I, my, I'm getting my sick to my stomach just thinking about it. I've never gotten worse stomach aches from anything, any other beer in my entire life than Coors Light. And shit's made with horse piss. <laughs> uh, it is awful. It is awful. I mean, yeah. it is the worst. Now, Coors Gold. Uh, that's Banquet. all right. Banquet. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Like when you get into those lower beers, PBR in a bottle. Yeah. Pinky up, brother. That's some good beer. I've had. I've got that cheap in bars, but PBR in a bottle is great. PBR in a can. That's like that's more horse piss. Yeah. I'm serious. Like PBR in a in a cold bottle, man. That's not bad. But I'm a bud drinker, so I'm. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like we used to drink. Like we we would get Foster, Foster. Uh, the little mini keg, fucking! I love Foster's man. Yeah, and that's it's Australian it. for beer. Oh, what, what, what was the shit we used to get? It was like, ah. Uh, if you tell me Milwaukee ice, I'm gonna no, throw it. no. It was like, like <laughs> Schlitz. Oh, I don't, Schlitz was alright. Yeah, Natty ice. Schlitz ponies. No, it, it, I can't. Remember. Was it Schlitz or was it? It. Maybe it was Pabst, but it wasn't Pabst. Genuine Draft. It was, like, in a gold can. That's Coors MGD, Gold, right? Or, um, no, it wasn't Coors. I know it wasn't Coors. It was, like, an Mil- oddball Mil- brand. Genuine Draft. MGD. Was no. It was, like, a, no, because this was, like, eight bucks a case. High Life? No. But I, I wish I could remember what the fuck it was. We'd buy that, because mm. it was, like, eight bucks a case. There'd be, like, four of us. We'd each pitch in two bucks. We'd go down to um the Strip. Drink in the car. Yeah, that was commonplace. Yeah, <laughs> like pound down that case in the car, then pay, then go to um, Metropole, pay, pay to get in. Eight dollars a beer. Yeah, and, and pay, like like buy two beers is like a two drink minimum. Buy your two beers and you were set for the night. Yeah, you know. I know friends that used to get forties and just yeah. crush forties on the way down. Yeah. Yeah, I did that once or twice too. But like we usually buy like a, a case of like. A, it was a, I want to say it was Schlitz. Like, it was like Schlitz Genuine Draft. Schlitz? Yeah. I mean, Schlitz was not bad beer. No. But it was like, it was like something odd. Like, I, it, it, like Pat's Genuine Draft? I can't remember. They need it, to bring back Lowenbrow. Yeah. Oh. I think I saw a case of Lowenbrow. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, I think down here, it, you know... <laughs> Those are good friends who aren't here today. Down there at Lou's Brews, I'm pretty where, sure I saw a this? case... Lose Brews. Is that where the double G car wash is? What, where is no. this Lose Brews? It's, it's down. It, it's down by one. I mean, she keeps telling me the address, but I don't. It's right next to uh, Little Caesars in Rainbow Coffee Shop. Yeah. Okay. Is yeah. it like a beer distributor? Yeah. Pick yeah. Up, order for you. You know, can't go to order it. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw they a case low of, and brow. I th- I'm pretty sure I saw a case of low and brow down there. Is there I thought, an inch of dust on it? Maybe you were just reading some German IPA or something. No, no, I'm pretty sure it was low and brow. I, I, I'm trying to rem- I, I'm pretty because I remember thinking had myself lying on it. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that was my mom's choice. Because it was like that oddball thing of like where I'm <laughs> like you know because Nancy's shopping around for like White Claw and shit. Oh fuck! And like I'm like, is that a case of low and bro? I wonder how much that is. Yeah. You know, like I honestly thought about buying a case of low and bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's probably like fine wine. It's like low and bro seventy two. Yeah. Yeah. You exactly. know what I mean? Like, it's probably Fi- fucking rotted inside. <laughs> Finally aged. Comes out like 1985. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it, it's shit like that. Like, I mean, I told you like that one day. It's like I, the beer form of absinthe. Yeah. It's like that one day when I saw the case of Mickey's Big Moss for like five bucks. Oh, God. I almost bought that. And I mean, it still had like the, 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 the peel away tops. No shit. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, this is the best. Mickey's Big Mouth, Pucker. Yeah. Yeah. Old Mill. 
I don't think I can even smell Old Mel without causing some <laughs> vomiting to ensue. I got sick. I used to get sick off Old Mel when I was a teenager. Like in a main, like I, the one that that, that 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 well, there's two that just completely destroyed me. One was Goldschlager. Oh, I remember those days. Oh, <laughs> but th- there was the day <laughs> I was up at uh, West Smith Number Three Fire Hall. In, in, the, in the club. Uh-huh. And Bacchus just kept buying shots for me and him of Golden Schlager. Of Gold Schlager. And I, you know, I'm just pounding them away. We killed a fucking bottle. I woke up the next morning in my backyard covered in mud in my underwear. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. What an awesome like, story. Seven in the morning, pouring down rain, just covered in mud. Just sure like. it wasn't shit? I'm sure. <laughs> But I just covered in mud, laying in, in my underwear. Like I, I, I must have like went to bed, woke up, and went out like because I, cause I li- was in the basement, so I went out the back door of yeah. the house and just like collapsed, probably to puke my guts out. Yeah, yeah. And just laid there in the mud. And your parents never saw you. No, thank God. Oh, you would have been destroyed. Oh yeah, I've, t- I've told them the story, but uh, that and I had a wild night with wild turkey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That uh, that was not a good night. Yeah. <laughs> just so he just kept feeding me shots of wild turkey. And I'm, you know, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. That was a good I had a horrible shot night is. after watching Lisa Lampanelli. So oh, had, someone that had to drive me home, and I puked down the side of his car. Oh, that was the oh, best. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was rough. I don't know how we, many shots I, I went down to. What were you doing shots of that night, though? Because I mean, it was it was half Jack Daniels and half um, UConn Jack. I was like, was it called Jack or it was something Jack and Jack I, I, and I, Jack, I, Jack and Jack or something? Like that. Oh, I it probably had like fifteen shots. I I ain't even kidding. He he saw how much I was drinking. Well, I didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. Like, because you were down there doing like. That guy took you. And yeah. like, I can't remember L. his name. L. L. Yeah. Al took you away, and I'm down there with Tracy and her friend. Yeah. Flirting the fuck away, you know, thinking I'm gonna, you know, make some hay here. <laughs> the next thing I know, I've got Thad like, I need you to drive me home. I'm sick. And I'm like, Was what? I there? No, you weren't. Because we, we went to go see Lisa Lampanelli, and we ended up at some yeah. martini bar. Yeah, the martini bar down in Pittsburgh. Yeah, okay. and. He's like, I need you to take me home. I can't drive. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. No problem. You're on the way. You know, and meanwhile, like, Frank and his wife were like, everyone was bailing. Like, like, like okay, yeah, see ya. I'm like, what have you done to Thad? <laughs> and, like, we're driving home, and he's, like, hanging out my window. And it's, like, 30 degrees outside. <laughs> and he's just, like, hanging out the window. Coming down River the, Road. Coming down River Road and up, uh... Up through West Mifflin and shit. I heard the story. Yeah. Yeah. He and then told me. Yeah. And I made like I make it. Like, I thought I was there. We're, we're like thirty feet away from his house, and he just pukes all over the side of my car. Outside. Outside. Yeah. <laughs> Which was like okay, fine, whatever. Shit happens. But then he starts staggering. Like, like uh, I mean, you're very apologetic. I'll clean it. I'll clean it. Just bring it. I'll clean it. I'm like, nah, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. And he's like very apologetic about what he's done. <laughs> Gets, over my sister's driveway. gets out of the car and immediately honks all over the driveway, like exorcist style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, I, like, I'm like, like, are you okay? Like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just like, like all over the place. I'm just like, oh my God, what is inside of this boy? <laughs> I, I this one yeah. time we went down to uh, fucking... Uh, and like I think your that sister, was came, the worst. Was I think your worst sister came on and started bitching because you were making so much noise puking, and then she saw the puke and she's like, "What the fuck?" And she's looking at me like, it "Wasn't me." <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. Well, we went down to. We had a, we got a driver. This girl was gonna drive, and I swear we went down to Metropole. We had a driver to get on the Metropole, and there was. Four of us going down, and everybody got beers. Like, we had beers before at the house, before we went down. Yeah. 
And I'm like, all right, you know, and uh, you know, no names, but her husband ended up driving back and I, from down there, but I got crushed down there. I don't know, if, I don't know where it went. Chaunt, I don't remember where it went, but I got crushed. And that's when I was drinking. This is like right at 21. So this is when I was drinking like hard yeah. alcohol and thought I knew what I was doing. Yeah. I mean, you know, I didn't drink yeah. liquor at all. And, um, well, it, was one of those, it was one of those places where you, you, you went there, like they had like the, you know, for the next two hours, buck shots, yeah. and it was all like bottom of the shelf shit. Right, cranberry and vodka. Yeah. Right. That's all I drank down there. So I got, literally, I got fucked up from before and there, and I was like, you know, we're, I'm stumbling out to the car. I was like, I got to sit in the front. I was like, I'm just telling you, I got to sit in the front seat. Yeah. No, you can't sit in the front. This isn't your car. And it was like, like a little bit of an argument. I was like, I, like an argument, I was like, no, nah, I really, I really got to sit in the front seat of this car. Yeah. Because I get car sick. And, uh, like, I'm two years old, but if I sit in the back of a car, I get sick. <laughs> and, uh, no, you're sitting. And it's this big argument. I was like, okay, sit me in the back. So I, I get in the back. Oh, you got the spins about halfway, huh? Pull up to their house. <laughs> no, really. Yeah. Pull up to their house. <laughs> and I'm like, Bleh! like that, like right in the car, like in her seats. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And I was like, I fucking told you I had to sit in the front. And the dick move? I fucking left. <laughs> I was like, I ain't cleaning this shit up. I was like, I told you, I warned you. And I was like, it was a dick move. I still regret that. I was like, man, that was such a dick move. But like, yeah, I puked all in their car. So I guess she uh, cleaned out the car the next yeah. day. Oh. And never really talked to them again. <laughs> but I mean, like, I told them. Yeah. You know? The only other time is, like, I don't have very I because I rarely puke. Um, But that party at my house that one time, I puked. Yeah. White. I don't know where that came from. I don't know either. But there was Dr. Pepper's we were doing. Yeah. yeah I was concerned about you that night. Like, oh. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> I'm an android. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was very weird. It's like I it's like I drank uh I think your mom called. <laughs> yeah, before I puked. Yeah. Yeah, my and mom like, called, I was you're outside. Like, yeah, you're like Sean's here, it's okay. <laughs> hey. Uh yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I talked to her on my front porch. Or my yeah. middle of my yard in the keys. Okay. On my on the key. And there's, you know, we had that mini yard. And I'm sitting there talking, yeah, Ma, everything's good. I just crushed a Dr. Pepper inside. And uh, we're talking, and everything's good. And, you know, da, 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 da. and all of a sudden, I was <gasps> like, hold on, Mom. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know what's going on. Or, you know, Sean's over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I have drunk too much. And Thank God I had him there. That and he's handing me the phone. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like, talk to my mom. Talk to my mom. I gotta puke. I'm like, oh, yeah, Johnny. Yeah, everything's great. No, no, there's nobody here. Just me and Ian having a couple of beers. It's all right. <laughs> How old was I? Oh, we're you were like at least 21, 22. You were, I mean, you were of legal age. Like, you, Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know if we were legal age. Maybe you were. I don't. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I, I mean. Uh. I know I was legal. We parted a lot in that neighborhood. Yeah. But uh, I never had one at my house. That's in the that's the day someone, I, can't, I don't want to mention that, locked himself in the bathroom, I remember? Yeah. I had one bathroom. Yeah. Just locked himself in there. We had to pick. He passed out. He toilet bowled it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> After them Dr. Peppers. Yeah. Oh, I know what made me throw up. We did that last Dr. Pepper. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we did that last Dr. Pepper. They come in, and my buddy goes, no names. And my buddy goes, hey, Ian, we got to do one more Dr. Pepper. We have enough for one more. I'm like, fuck yeah. So I went over to the table. <laughs> I went over. This is what made me puke. Is I went over to the table, and 
I'm like, okay, I'll be there in a minute because I'm still managing the party too. So I went over and I was like, are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Dr. Pepper's set up. So I can light the shot glass, you know, drop it and fucking crush uh, the Dr. Pepper. It just tasted bad. Like it tasted like uh, there was no fizz. It was like flat, you know. I was like, like so if you got a Dr. Pepper at the store, it's just like a flat Dr. Pepper that's been sitting there for a day. You know what I mean? Like all the all the bubbles were gone. I'm like, I looked over. I'm trying not to say his name. <laughs> he was right there too when I was doing yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, was somebody spit cup. <laughs> nah. I, well, and so I I looked over and I was like, man, what'd you do to this? This doesn't taste right. And I was like. I was like, because I asked, what kind of beer did you use for the, because if it, cause we had multiple beers, kind yeah. of beers there, I thought you used a shit beer, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was like, oh my God, I had this dining room table. He took, out of the 30 dead soldiers that were on the fucking table, he created enough to have a Dr. Pepper for yeah. each of us out of all the dead soldiers of beer. <laughs> yeah. And like those little swallows that were left behind. Exactly. And so what happened was, you know, like it was like a bunch of after, you know what I mean? Backwash. Backwash, yeah. pretty much. And I'm like, so he told me that, and I was like, yeah, exactly. So I went right to the front door. Yeah. Right? And as I'm walking to the front door, my mom calls. And that's what happened. Yeah. And so I went outside and like, hold on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, c- I couldn't believe it. So it was like a Dr. Pepper made up of like 30 de- uh, dead soldiers of beer. I Everybody's would, fucking spit. I went off on him. Like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, uh, it's still good? <laughs> I'm like, no. It's not good, dude. <laughs> not at all. Oh. And you of all people should know better. <laughs> yeah, I was. Can it was, use a fresh beer? It was, dude. It was awful. It was t- toward the end of the night, I think. Yeah, it was. Because we were running out of beer. I think that's the, that yeah, was, it was the problem. Yeah, that was a problem. Yeah. And none of us were going to get it. No. Especially me. I was like... Oh. oh. That was a crazy night. Crazy drinking stories. Yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's my favorite one that I experienced with you. Yeah. I puked all over the place. He did. You know that story. Such a great story. But for those who don't know, we might as well relive it. Might as well embarrass myself. Oh, my God. So, Thanksgiving. I was fucked up, too. I'm not going to deny yeah. it. I was like, I was, I don't know if we went to Angel Lee's. I don't know where we went. We went, we were at Monkey Bar. Was it the Monkey Bar? We so were. I don't remember where we were at. Yeah. I got fucked Because you called me up. You called me up and like, Cause I'm like, you know, I'm at home. I had just moved in with my sister and her boyfriend. And they were remodeling the downstairs of the house still. Like, I was still being done. And they were going to move down there. But I had moved in with them. Oh, God. And like, he calls me up. He's like, dude, come out to the monkey bar. Have a couple of drinks with me. I'm like, fuck it. Why not? Go out to the monkey bar. We got hammered. I mean. Fucking hammered. <laughs> Get a six pack to go. <laughs> don't, don't, Tracy's boyfriend at the time, he was a he was a recovering alcoholic. We're bringing home a six pack. I know she was pissed just she, from the stepping through the door. Yeah. We throw we throw the six pack in the fridge. Fucking attack the le- the Thanksgiving leftovers. Yeah, we both had like this huge plates of food. Yeah. I don't think we heated up. I think we just ate it cold. Oh. Yeah, it was just gigantic plates of food. We just fucking crushed it. And, of course, you know, in the middle of the night, I'm just puking all over the no, place. No, it wasn't exactly like that. Okay. So I was sleeping. Sean was in the den. And I think I was upstairs. Up in the attic. Crashed. I think so, yeah. Your bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you were sleeping upstairs on the air mattress, I was sleeping on the couch. Yeah, yeah. And all I heard, and like I was lit, and and like anybody who that knows me knows that I sleep. I can sleep anywhere, and I sleep hard. Like nothing usually wakes me up. Like I don't wake up. 
Like, I have to set 10 alarms just to yeah. get up in the morning. Like, I just, I'm a dead sleeper. Dead to rights, man. I'm like, a uh, tornado can go off and I won't, I won't wake up. All of a sudden, I thought there was a fucking lion <laughs> roaring in my ear. I have never heard a sound like that in my entire life. I just like this. Roar! And that's what his throw up sound sounded like. It wasn't like as someone that was throwing up. And I, <laughs> Tracy woke up, right? Yeah. I came downstairs. To see what that fuck it was. And I, of course, I started laughing, which wasn't a good move. <laughs> no. But I was like, what the fuck? And there is, there is fucking noodles everywhere. It was. Yeah. It was it was, pro- it was projectile. I think I jetted before Tracy ended up even waking up the next day. Yeah. Because I didn't want to, because I was responsible. Sort of. We were both yeah, responsible. We were both responsible. I'm the one that didn't come out. Yeah. Uh, that was, that session was, uh, yeah. It was brutal. It was. I don't even remember what we were drinking. I don't remember either. Like the only thing I remember from from Low that, bro. I don't even remember being at the monkey bar. Yeah, like I, I only thing I remember is like we were there and like you were like, <clears throat> I think it was like, I think it was Texas A and M and Texas were playing, and I was watching the game and you're like, dude, I invited you out to hang out with me, not to watch this fucking game that you don't even care about. And I'm like, you're right, you're right. I love you. <laughs> Sloppy. <laughs> Sloppy. I don't even know how we got home. Oh, no. It was... Oh, it was rough. That was... I'm glad I don't... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, you and me both. I mean, I do drink beer. You do drink wrong, beer. And I get a little tipsy yeah. on my beer, but... Not like that. Shit. Like, like getting drunk like that is like... Sloppy. Yeah. And just the, the lives I endangered yeah. driving home. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you and me both. There are many a night I don't remember how I got home. Like, (laughs) how did I end up in this bed? Yeah. Why am I passed out in front of the SOR? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. In my car. Why am I naked in my yard? (laughs) Yeah. I used to pass out on my glider on my front porch with the keys port all the time. Yeah. No. What a nightmare. I woke up once or twice. Like, if you say in a tree, I'm gonna punch you. Again. Not, not in a tree, no. But like, <laughs> like under a tree. No, because what I would do, like a major asshole, I would get drunk in McKee Sport and then walk home. Okay. Well, like there like the grill or whatever that was. What yeah. Was <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tube City and yeah, yeah there's the other one, and I, I mean, I'd walk home. And, like, there are a couple of times where, like, uh, apparently, like, I thought it was a good idea. I was just too sleepy to make it all the way. Like, I would wake up in the bushes in St. Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> like, at 5 in the morning. <laughs> like, I needed, like, a three-hour nap or something. <laughs> I just thought, well, I don't want the police to see me. So I, like, hide in the bushes and shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I'd wake up, and I'd be like, oh. Oh, I feel like <laughs> shit. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I, that happened to me in Morgantown once. Uh, that's where it, it all started. Um, I woke up and we were... And I was... Uh, what were we doing? Oh, I got into a bottle of fucking Bacardi. And uh, that's why I still can't drink rum. And uh, I was with G. Was it Jared? I don't remember. I don't remember who it was, but they thought I was dead at one point. <laughs> like, I had drunk so much yeah. that I was sleeping with my eyes open, and everybody <laughs> thought I was dead, right? Yeah. And so what ended up happening was I had woken up, and I walked outside, and it was on the main... It's hard to describe, but there's student union and buildings, and then you took this road, and it takes you all the way back to... Uh, fucking freshman dorms yeah anyway no it was somebody else it wasn't G it was somebody else and uh I fucking passed out in the ivy yeah along the sidewalk and I woke up to people going to school yeah I'm like oh, 
it's a new law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was no puke around me, but no. it was a new law. And it was cold. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like those those nights I'd wake up in those bushes and be like, man, I hope nobody saw me. Like, it, it, luckily it's like still like like five in the morning. Like, yeah. so was, it wasn't like I was I, like slept for like an hour and a half, two hours or something. Everybody but, saw you. They was like, ah, it's just Sean out there. Yeah, it's just Sean. It's just a coon boy. Yeah, but <laughs> it, I mean, like one of those things where it's just like you wake up and you're like, I am so fucking embarrassed that like you know this is where I am. You know, <laughs> right? This is what my life has become. You know, and like the fu- <laughs> the funny thing is like I'm walking past like uh, you know Aunt Bonnie and Uncle Ed's house. Yeah, yeah. Like like what? Like I'm sure my thinking was, well, I can't stop here. I don't want to embarrass myself to family. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want them to wake up and find me sleeping on their porch drunk. You know, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna head down to the bushes in St. Joe's. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, that had to have been my thought process. <laughs> like. like <laughs> That's crazy. I, yeah. I never heard that. Yeah. Oh, How much like, further would it have been for you to just walk home? Uh, four, more minutes? four blocks, five blocks. It would have probably been like, no, I mean, in, in the drunken <coughs> stupor I was, probably 15 to 20, but it should have been like a, a five to 10 minute walk. Right, right. You know, but it was just like, you know, you, you're, you, I, I know, like, you know, because you had to walk up that, that giant hill to get up, yeah. up on the row mine. And like, I'm sure like, like that walk in itself was like, in a drunken state was probably That's twice the, as long as it needed to be. <laughs> so from there, like the other problem becomes like, like well, I, I need to pass out, but I can't do it here because it's family, you know. So where, where's another good place I could pass out? Oh, I know. These bushes. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was my thought process, I'm sure. In some rough moments, but. I can remember when I just turned 21. I got hammered. It was the night of someone's wedding. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And I ended up <laughs> at a bar. At the last thing I was at a bar, and then I woke up and I was at the highway playground. <laughs> nice. I had driven. Out yeah. to the highway playground, and I had passed out in one of the <laughs> seats yeah. in the highway playground. Nice. And so they booted me out of the playground. Yeah. I guess. I don't. It was. Like, yeah. It was beyond me. I, I was like. How did I get her? Like a black blackout, and that well, that's why I stopped drinking. Yeah. The hard stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Because it's like, like waking up in front of the SOI. Did we just get a bowl of popcorn? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> don't remember. I don't remember nothing. That's the thing. Like yeah. Time started elapsing. Like, and what would have made you do make that drive? I have no idea. I don't, why would I even go there? Yeah. I didn't go there without anybody. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, would, what in the name of God would have had you, like, say, like, I know where I'm going to go. I should have died that night. Yeah. I want to drive 45 minutes to the shittiest strip club I know. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is a good idea. This is stupid. But, uh, Did you pause? all right, so <laughs> that's a, it's a festive show. Talk about drunken, drunken antics. Yeah. Perfect for a Christmas show. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> um, shitter's full. <laughs> shitter's full. Exactly. Yeah. Um, did you watch the new episode of Hawkeye? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good series. Yeah. I like it. I'm almost disappointed there's only two episodes left. I was just going to ask, what's, is it six? Six, yeah. Yeah. That's a good series. Yeah. That was 21. I want you to see where this ends. Yeah, I like it a lot, actually. Do you think he's going to end? No. Nah. No. But. There's that family element. I don't think they'll touch that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think the ending has to be Hawkeye's home for Christmas. Yeah. But. With her, probably. Maybe. Yeah, like maybe I think her mom's going to die. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But what's the, what's the thing with the watch? Uh? I don't know yet. It, is it like she might be like a superhero? In, her, in a sense, what was it, like Mockingbird? Well, or yeah, I got I, I got I got to fill it in Linda Cardellini's Mockingbird, which kind of makes me happy. That's kind of cool, actually. It is. Yeah. That would be phenomenal if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, she, you know she retired to have kids. 
you know, yeah, I mean, that would be phenomenal. Because that's like one of the things I've missed is like, I mean, because the relationship between Hawkeye and Mockingbird is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And if like, if that's who she is, like, that would be amazing. And they're kind of leading into that a little bit because yeah. they're showing a lot more conversations between between the two of them. Right. And there's also been a couple like clues, like she kind of knows the drill. Yeah. Like she's saying, oh, this, that, and the other, and this, that. Like she knows plus the he specs. Lo- plus, wait, he sent her some information to look up, and she gave him the information. Yeah, she gave him the information. She's talking Russian yeah, to yeah. him. Like I mean, there was a lot of stuff that you're like. Man, there's more to her than meets the eye, and it'd be awesome if it's the fact that she's Mockingbird. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, back in Civil War, she looked like Marion Ross back there. Well, yeah. but that's what it was supposed to look like. Right. Though, you know what I mean? So, that's very intriguing. Yeah. I like him. I don't care what, what was done or whatever, but I, I, the way he acts, he's a good actor. You're Renner, yeah. Renner. I mean, he is, like, phenomenal. So, anyway, we'll see. But this yeah. is a good series. I almost thought at first maybe that watch was Tony Stark's one. The one was that half watch and it yeah, to, that, that, I, to the hand. That's what I thought at first, but then it just seemed like something different. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what that watch is. It, it has me. It definitely has me interested. Um, there was something else that, that popped up in that episode that I was like, oh, I can try to think of what it was. Um, I mean, you know. What's her face showing up? You kind of knew that was going to happen without ever, ever being advertised. What's that? Um, Natasha's sister. Yeah, yeah. Like, you knew, like, because at the end of Black mm-hmm. Widow, that whole thing with, like, well, here's the man who killed your, your sister. The new Black Widow. Yeah. 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 Um, so I kind of knew at some point she had to show up. Yeah. Um, Does that have to do with the, uh, what was it, the, the, the sweatsuit mafia guys? And her mom, Russian. and then the... And that other guy that was that had the uh, the Ronin sword. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean that guy's the swordsman. There was something else that like I was just like I could see this happening. Well, there's a connection too with the Russian, the jumpsuit oh. guys, and like it's like who, and, who, and, 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 who's and, and. the head guy? Like, please, I, dear God, please let it be Kingpin. Oh my God, I thought the same thing. L- like the guy that they're all talking about, like the head guy. You sure it ain't the the stepfather here? Well, no, because they the identified. She called uncle. There's, there's, the there's a like point dead. when she was. There was a flashback when she was little. Yeah, when Echo, Echo was little, and like when her father died, there's a guy who's putting his hand. Like he's, you could tell he's in like a tailored suit, and he puts big his hand, hand, big hand. I mean, it, please, please be Kingpin. Please, please be Kingpin from Daredevil. Oh, you talk about incredible. Oh, they are in New York. Well, yeah, it's the right place. That's it's, what I'm saying. That's, right. This is this Hell's Kitchen. I mean, like this is where sort of like it's not. You know what I mean? But it's, it would make it would make a ton of sense. And it would create that opening because you know they announced Kevin Feige announced that Charlie Cox is Daredevil. Yeah, yeah. Like it, and he, he he basically all he said was, if we ever have Daredevil or anything, it'll be Charlie Cox. Right, right. Which you know made me extremely happy. But that means, if that's the case, the Vincent D'Onofrio kingpin has to exist as well. Right. And where better to introduce him than right here, right now? Right. You know, in this series as a, a, a force. And you can see him having ties with all these people. Yeah. So. And the fact that he would have his, his fingers in the shit that was coming out of the Avengers compound... Makes, makes sense, sense. Yeah. you know. Like, there's a lot of things like you could, like, I just, oh. and even the mom said, You got to be careful what you're doing because you're going to get really hurt, yeah, if you dig too deep, yeah, you know what I mean. And this is the deep we're talking about, yeah. I, I, I mean, that, that would be like phenomenal if it's fucking kingpin, I know, you know, be good, yeah, anyway, because you keep just referring to him as the big guy or the head guy. Yeah, like yeah. They don't, they don't, they're not referring, like, you know, you're just like, fuck, just say his name. Yeah. Just say his name. And they're her father that died. Or Echo's father. father. Yeah, uncle. Or not uncle, but. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's actually a really good actor. I've seen him and stuff. There's a independent series on. But yeah. In it. He's really good. Anyway, it, it's, it's a good show. Yeah. 
yeah, I've enjoy, I enjoyed the heck out of this episode. I like the fight at the end. Every one of these, uh, every one of these Marvel series has been great. Yeah. Like. Like when they were going to the LARPing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And different. Yeah, very different. Yeah. All of them have been extremely different. Yeah. Like independent shows on their own. But tying in yeah. very nicely. Yeah. I thought pretty good, man. Like, I mean, it, it does it, it does intrigue me. I know you're not interested, but like, it, like She-Hulk now has me more intrigued based upon how good these other shows have been. Right. Because of the tie-in of like, okay, well, you know, first off, like, I, why is Bruce Bruce now and not Professor Hulk? Right, right. You know, what happened there? That's, that has me curious as fuck. And, you know, I, we're not going to get that answer probably until that series. You know, Moon Knight, you know, with Oscar Isaac, you know that's just going to be amazing because it's Oscar Isaac, mm-hmm. you know. Um, Loki season two, you know, I mean, it, there's a lot of stuff that I'm just, like, really intrigued to see what they do with this. E- even, like, Miss Marvel. Like, Miss Marvel has me interested. Yeah, yeah. You know, and Was I'm not... the f- other season twos other than Loki that they planned? No. Um, I... I I think one of the vision was meant to be a one shot, and that'll tie into Doctor Strange. Um, Captain, uh, not Captain, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was meant to be a one shot, because that leads into Captain America four. I, you know, I think they, I think like for that story, they they felt they had to tell it that way to set up for the movie. Right. You know what I mean? Like you can't tell this story in a movie. It, it needed to be told in a longer format. Um, or it would be the entire movie. Yeah. Yeah. Which would have been a boring movie, but made for a great TV series. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's also just sowing seeds for the other things, though. Like, you know, Loki clearly has an effect on Spider-Man, you know, because the multiverse has been cracked open. And, 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 and um, you know, the events of Falcon and Winter Soldier are going to have an effect at some, you know, at, at this point because of like, it has an effect at the end of Black Widow. It has an effect on this show. So like, there's little things here and there, like little pieces of puzzle that like that Marvel puzzle is getting put together very, very slowly, but in a completely different fashion this time because you have these long form TV shows that are telling a longer story, plus the movies tying into these TV shows. Unlike what they did with like the Netflix series and also Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, that was all supposed to be connected. And, you know, by the end of S.H.I.E.L.D., you're like, well, this has nothing to do with the Marvel Cinematic Universe I know and love. Right, right. You know? As good as S.H.I.E.L.D. was, too, right. which is a, a shame because there was a lot of good stuff that came out of that show. Yeah, just a reference to, referenced here and there, but nothing, nothing that's tied in. Like, after, like, the third season, they even stopped referencing the, sh- like... It was like time travel and Yeah. Like, they did their own thing, but it was like, at some point, I was like, you know, at some point, somebody doesn't know S.H.I.E.L.D. exists, right? Like, you know, Tony Stark's not this stupid. <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to know Colston's alive. That's where I keep my crack. That's where I keep my crack. So there was that, and uh, I watched Cowboy Bebop, the live action version. Anybody watch that? No. Uh, I started it, then I fell asleep, then they canceled the series. Then they canceled the series, yeah. I'll say this much for it. Like, I thought it was okay. Uh-huh. Like, it, it definitely felt like a live-action version of an anime, like uh-huh. the way it was shot and stuff. Like, a lot of the way a lot of things unfolded. Um, I en- I enjoyed it. Like, I'm, I'm not sad that it's not coming back for a season two. Mm-hmm. But there's a part of me that's like, yeah, I wish I could have seen how the story ended. yeah. I'm gonna go watch the anime now because just out of sheer curiosity, like to see how they compare. Yeah, yeah. I started watching um, the Expanse again. Yeah, I saw the season six is up now, or yeah. coming out. It's this out. Point. Yeah. Well, it's being it's released. Episodic. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Amazon, so it's weekly. Yeah. Well, I'm liking it. Yeah. Of course. I'm so deep into that show, though. It's yeah. Like, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's such a great show. And also, did you watch Discovery? No. 
Okay. You good? Yeah, good episode. Okay. Yeah, I don't want you yet. Yeah. I, I, I like how this season's unfolding. Like, I mean, I'm intrigued to see, like, how it ends. Like... Like last season, we you know we the, the burn was the big bad, and when you got to find out what the actually caused the burn, it was kind of like a letdown. Yeah. Where this season, like with this this gravitational anomaly uh-huh. that's like changing course at will and shit. Yeah. Like I'm intrigued to see what it is, but I'm afraid it's gonna be like another letdown. Maybe yeah. Because like it's, it's like an interesting big bad. Like this is what we have to stop, and this is what's pulling people together and. You know, there's a whole thing with the 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 Vulcans and 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 all their shit. And I mean, I, I like oh, I can't. very intrigued to see where this goes, but something tells me at the end it's going to be a little kid with a temper tantrum. No, I, <laughs> hope know, I hope not. But it has been fun to watch Berman as the captain. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You know, because now she's put in that position of of being the captain where she had, like, for the first three seasons, you know. The story focused on her, but the ship didn't. Right, right. You know. The ship was always the constant. Yeah. Now they're inter- intertwined. Yeah. Yeah. Except when she goes on these rogue missions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She still pulls her shit. I well, like I think that. she's trying to, I think that with the admiral or whatever she is I think she's either trying to reel her in or there's something up with her with the president yeah okay I think yeah there's something something really sketchy or she's actually being honest and true I, I don't know yeah it's not gonna I don't think it's gonna go in between I think it's gonna be one extreme or the other yeah you know what I mean right I get, I get what you're saying yeah there's also I think the thing you'll like is as a Cronenberg appearance that was really yeah <laughs> nice yeah, he's not sketchy this time though. I'll tell you that. Like, I still disappoint. Like I, I like I was hoping for like sketchiness, but he's like nice Cronenberg. Oh really? Yeah. I like the sketch Cronenberg. So do I. Yeah. I like when he's sinister and you think he's up to something. <laughs> yeah. Right. So. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that happened. Like halfway through season three of Titans. Are you? How are you liking that? Oh, I really like it. It's a good show, right? Oh, man. Uh-huh. Do you want to watch Doom Patrol, or have you watched yeah, Doom? No, I'm going to watch that after. Uh, okay. Yeah, because they, what was it, like in season one, we kind of had that little yeah, that, crossover. that back door. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't realize Doom Patrol was in three seasons. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. No, I'm really liking it. It's like, I like uh, how badass uh, Dick Grayson is. Yeah, they don't hold back. Because I'm at the part where he's Nightwing now, so. Yeah. Yeah, they don't hold back on that show. No. Like, I mean, with anything. I, I kind of like, uh, you know, the, the demon spawn of uh, Superman and uh, <laughs> Lex Luthor, too. Oh, Connor Kent. He's yeah. a, he's a, he is an interesting character. Yeah. I'm liking he gets him better the as the show goes on, too. Yeah, yeah at first, I was like, I was like, I think. How many seasons? Three. Yeah. Was there a four? A Not yet. I mean, they're going to do a four, yeah. But, um, like, I, I like, like, he, he, if you watch Young Justice. He shows up in Young Justice too. Okay. And like the funny thing about him in Young Justice is like he meets Superman. And Superman's like, I don't know what the fuck to do with you. <laughs> like, so like, he's got daddy issues. Yeah. Like and like like super, like and like even like it's like funny like at one moment in, like in Young Justice, Bruce is like, you you've got to step up here. You do realize that. And he's like, that's funny coming from you, Bruce. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like this kid needs you. You know. Superman's like, really? You're gonna lecture me about raising children? <laughs> yeah, I'm digging the guy that's uh, Bruce Wayne in this too. He's uh, the guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, he's he's good. I like him. I like him. I like him as Bruce Wayne. I li- I mean, he's essentially being Batman. Like, there is no line. Like, right. you know, but I don't ever want to see him put on the costume. Yeah, me neither. Like, I like <laughs> that ruined me. Yeah, like, it, <laughs> it would it would ruin completely me. ruin me. Like I don't ever I mean, want to see. He looked good in Game of Thrones, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, I just don't think. I think he looked like the. I think if you put what on that costume, Game of Thrones. Um, he was um. Was it, um Grayscale. 
Yeah. He, yeah okay. Not grayscale. Um, yeah, he got grayscale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's the one that got grayscale. Uh, he was. Um, he, uh, he, he was. Khale- Khaleesi's, Khaleesi's got. Yep, yeah. Yep, that's him. Yep, yep, yeah. He, yeah. He completely. He completely put the friend zone. Yeah. Yeah. Which one it is? I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, if he put on that costume, he he'd probably look like the. Uh, uh, the old man from Family Guy. <laughs> hey, Chris. <laughs> like if he put that. Yeah, yeah. He's, just, he's just too old. Right Mr. Now. Herbert. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Herbert. He's just too old. Like, especially, like, if they put him in, like, a rubberized suit. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I just don't think it works. Like, I like him as yeah, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, but he was Wayne. in the suit of the Batman suit. Just, you just barely it see it. It wasn't him, though. Oh, it wasn't him. No, it wasn't that guy. Like, they, they, they did, a, else did a version of Batman. Is that yeah, that'd be a... Uh, That'd be a communicator. Okay. As, a, as like an uh, original series communicator. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Noish. Keep going. Okay. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Like, they, they, like they had, like, a vert, like, it was Batman, including that fight, but it wasn't, like, uh, that actor. Like, I don't ever want to see him put on the suit and, like, you know. Yeah, because he won't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at it. Let's see. Okay. But, uh. I'd rather see the yeah. old man, old man uh, Ben Affleck in the bat suit. Well, I mean, for, first off, I mean, come on. <laughs> Affleck was the bomb, you know. But, I mean, I, I don't, it's not even that, like. I, I just, I think it would be weird. Like, I think I like, my concern, like, is even, like, with, like, Michael Keaton, like. When he shows up in, in <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm kind of concerned about seeing him in the bat suit. Like I, I'm a little concerned. Like I think it'll be awesome to see him in the bat suit, but there's also a part of me that's like, whew, yeah, Mike, you might want to uh, take that cow off, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work out, but at least he's back as Batman. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited about that. When's that movie coming out? I think next year. I have to look, but I think it's next year. I think we'll see. Yeah. I guess, I mean, like, the funny thing is, like, I know he's in the suit at some point. Like, I, they, they showed... Like, they did that sizzle reel for DC fandom. Uh-huh. And, like, at one, at one point you see, like, the, the bad ears the cow like from the back like you can see him like looking at the bat cave and I'm just like hmm yeah <laughs> you know he's got his hand everywhere man he Marvel does. and DC I mean I'm, I'm intrigued to see what they what they do with Vulture? this Flash movie yeah. oh Flash yeah just because I'm, I mean I'm, I'm interested to see like uh Like how it plays out. Like I, I mean, I, I know the storyline, and I know how it's supposed to play out, as far as like the Flashpoint storyline. So I'm intrigued to see how how they adapt that. Because like the Flashpoint storyline, like involves like a war between uh, um, Atlantis and Themyscira, and like you know the world's coming to an end because of this. Like it's like World War Three essentially. Like I mean, there's all sorts of shit that's going on. Like you know the Reverse Flash is involved. Like there's all sorts of fucked up shit going on. And it's like, okay, like I this could work, but like I don't know how you like put all that into a movie. So I don't think they are. Right. right. You know, and, and plus like the, the the version of Batman is going to be completely different from what was in that book. Yeah, because it's Keaton's Batman and not like the the theory was always if you're going to do Flashpoint that the guy who plays Negan was going to be the Flashpoint Batman. Ah, good good idea. Well, because he was the fa- he he was the father of Bruce, Bruce Wayne and right. in, in in that which one was it Batman versus Superman? Yeah, yeah. and. In Flashpoint, the 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 story is uh, Thomas and Martha didn't die in that alley. Bruce did. Okay. And in the comic book, <laughs> Bruce or Thomas becomes Batman, who doesn't hold back. He 
he fires guns, he kills people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has no problem. But Martha goes insane and becomes the Joker. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Like, there's this great moment in the comic book where, like, <clears throat> she's holding Bruce's body, and he's, like, trying to, like, get her up and to put him down, and she has her hand over her mouth, and when she pulls her hand away, the Bruce's blood forms a smile, oh, and she shit. just starts laughing. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're just like, oh, shit. Like, I mean, it's... Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's some hardcore stuff. He'd make a good Batman, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, like a... Yeah. Like, I think he'd be good as this, like, old, crusty, I don't give a fuck about you, Batman. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, that's the actor's name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I think he'd be phenomenal in that role. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I said, everybody was kind of looking forward to it. And he even said, like, I'm up for it. Yeah, yeah. But they went with Keaton instead. Yeah, he'd be like, listen here, Penguin. You better be wearing your piss pants. Yeah. <laughs> he'd be good. Anyway. Yeah, so. What do you think? You'll see DeVito's Batman? Or, I mean, Penguin in there? I hope not. I mean, there could always be Arnold's Mr. Freeze. No, I don't want to see not. DeVito no. as, as Penguin again either. No. I heard DeVito talk about, like, I'd love to do it again. I'm like, well, nobody else wants to see you do it, so. Yeah, that nobody. nobody. You. Yeah. Like, I don't I'm want to see that either. No. Seriously, I don't want to see any of that crap. No. <laughs> Who was the best villain in that series? The original ones. Um, probably Nicholson's Joker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, I'll give you that. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't care for Davila's Penguin because it wasn't the Penguin; it was like the Tim Burton Penguin. Um, I, I Catwoman was well done. But, Agreed. you know, um, I hate, hate the Tommy Lee Jones version of Two-Face. Two-Face. Yeah. Because he's not Two-Face. Like, Two-Face abides by the coin. When he flips the coin, he abides by the coin. That, that, that version, he kept flipping the coin until he got what he fucking wanted. Well, that's who he is. Right. But that's not, but that's not who Two-Face is. All right. Two two face he flips it once and it comes if it goes against him it goes against him he finds a way around it he just has to keep flipping until he gets what he wants right, right you know what I mean so that drove me nuts like I he you know two face isn't you know <laughs> you know what I mean that's just not the character like he didn't play the character yeah right you know he, he played the toy version of the character they wanted to sell right and then like Carrie's Riddler. Was just like an amped up version of the Joker, yeah. You know, which I mean, that's just when you get Jim Carrey for a role like that, that's what you're gonna get, right? You know, and then we're not even gonna go into the movie that shall not be named. Oh, yeah. I mean, when when Bane is basically a guy in a fat like one of those blow up samurai or a blow up sumo wrestler suits, I've got problems. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you know. And the plant. Yeah. I, the only thing, oh, and her terrible acting. Yeah. <laughs> there was no, and, and, and you took almost a perfect story to tell. You could have made a masterpiece out of it. Yeah. If you did it right. Yeah. And they didn't do it right. I mean, because the stories, the story of Miss um, Do- Dr. Freeze. Dr. And Freeze is really good. Yeah. Uh, and you could have done a lot with that, yeah. And they turned it into an absolute shit box. Yeah, you you could have taken that that story of Heart of Ice and made it into something phenomenal. Yeah. Instead. Yeah. Um, you get a turd. It was just so bad. Yeah. I mean, so bad. I did like him in the Robin suit, though. Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm on the fence because like the second movie's so bad, it's unforgivable. The what? The se- like the second movie he's in. Oh the, yeah. The movie that shall not be named. I mean, it's so bad it's unforgivable. And like n- like I, I I can't applaud any performance in that movie. Yeah. You know. Yeah, there's no really bright spot for that film. And like the first like you know in, in Batman Forever. Like, I, I mean, he was okay, but, like, I don't know. Like, that whole, like, holy rusted metal Batman. I'm like, like, 
<laughs> even even you know, Batman's like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, the the metal is wholly enrusted. I'm like, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. What's that dude? Hmm. You know. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't don't reference sixty six Batman, please. I really didn't like any any of the. Uh, I didn't like any of. Them. I mean, I did like the Joker one. I thought that was good. Yeah. I like loved Catwoman in the second one. Yeah. But I thought the movie as a whole. I thought, I thought, I thought the Penguin was stupid. I didn't like it. Yeah, I just didn't. I, yeah. I didn't. I didn't appreciate the penguins with fucking missiles on them. Yeah, I just didn't. You know, you know what I mean. Like I didn't appreciate how disgusting the penguin was because the penguin was always refined. Yeah, and they turned him into a monster, which I never really viewed him as a monster. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like Burgess Meredith was always refined as the penguin. Yeah, like goofy, but yeah, he was refined by just his look alone. I don't know. I, just, yeah, I, mean, it was like, I mean, that was Tim Burton trying to be Tim Burton. Like, Yeah, I know, but I mean, I need like, the Tim Burton. But you're ruining yeah. something that, you know. Yeah. And just the wave of villains that they got were just so terrible. I yeah. Mean, they were just, even Kara didn't really appreciate it. You know yeah. what I mean? But I, I still say it, hands down. It was worse than Freeze, and I can't even believe I'm saying that was uh, Poison Ivy. Yeah. That was the worst acting that I've ever seen. And it actually almost ruined... It, it pretty much did ruin me on the actress a lot. Yeah. Because, I, you know, everybody just raves about Kill Bill. And every and time you I... just can't watch it. I can't watch it because every time I see her face, oh, I think of that horrible... Yeah. Horrible acting gig she did. In fact, I mean, it was so bad. Yeah. It was just... It was... That to me was unforgivable. Yeah, like she she pretty much ruined almost the entire movie before because every time she opened her mouth, it was like, oh, yeah, just just don't say anything. I mean, it was just so bad. So, I, so any Uma Thurman, any, anything she's in, aside from Pulp Fiction, <laughs> I yeah. can't I can't really watch it because I think she's just I think she's terrible. Yeah. I get that. I don't care what script you're given. That's the performance you... I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I mean, it was... Yeah. Her dialogue was just... Brutal. I, I, I can't get over it. I mean, it, it was just so bad. It was. It was brutal. Especially when she did this, remember? Yeah. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I've, I've suffered through the Keystone Cops. I've suffered through the sa- Scooby-Doo sound effects. I have suffered through this whole movie and you're going to give me this? Yeah. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. I mean, you watch that movie just to get, remember how bad it was. Oh. Uh, well, it's like one of those deals it's where It's not like, just bad. It, it is. It's like one of those deals where like Tim Burton tried really, really hard to get as far away as possible from the campiness of the 66 Batman series. And by the time you get to the movie that shall not be named, you are right back into the campiness of the 66 Batman movie. And the 66 Batman movie is better than that. Yeah. That's that's where I'm going with this. Yeah. Even the campiness in the 66 Batman, you yeah. can appreciate versus the crap that was rolling out of their mouths yeah. in this film. Yeah. Like, Batman having the bat shark repellent on the utility belt is more forgivable it is. than that entire movie. It is. You know. No, I'm serious. You're, you're serious. I know. I, it's I crazy. agree with you. you know. it's, it's insane. Tim Burton's gigantic Batmobile. The thing was as fucking long as this store. Yeah. But that at least looked cool. In a sense. I mean, it's... Driving the motherfucker, though. It, it, it's practically useless. It is. But at least it looked cool. That's what like, I liked about how Nolan revamped everything. Oh, yeah. Like, Especially I, with the Bat Cycle. That shit was bad like, motherfucking ass. I have more problems with the, the, the Batmobile in the in Batman Forever and the movie that should not be named. Those two different versions of the Batman books. They like had like neon everywhere and shit. Oh, yeah. Like neon lights and like Batman wouldn't drive that. Yeah, but Batman's <laughs> not gonna pimp. Yeah. But there it was. But like at the well, same time like in the mirror. Yeah, oh, it was horrible. It was. 
but like at the same time, like you know, you're right. Like like the Burton version of the Batmobile was so fucking useless. Like it, it you couldn't have driven that thing anywhere. Right. You know. So bad. But yeah, you said so like yeah, like the revamping of it, like making it into a tank. Yeah. Like made more sense. Right. Right. You know. This is stupid. God, it was dumb. All right, let's go. Even the, like the Batmobile for the the Batman, the movie is coming out next year. Like people are like like shitting on it. I'm like, eh, this makes sense. You take a, a, the brand new Jar- Dodge Charger and just amp it up. Yeah, that's what it do at this point. You know, <clears throat> well, these are the beginning stages. Yeah, like this, is, this isn't like he, he's he's not. You know, it, this makes more sense than you know. The fifty-foot monstrosity that yeah. you saw in the original, but it, that's what the Batmobile was in the Batman series, right? It was a souped-up what? Oh God! It was a uh, the, the frame was a um, a Ford. I can't remember what. It's a Ford Falcon. Yeah, I think it was a Ford Falcon. Yeah. Because it had a lot of li- uh, tail fin lights. Yeah. Like the, yes, like the basis of it was like a Ford Falcon that they yeah then like. Mod- oh, you know, super modified to, to become the Batmobile. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that makes, just makes more sense. Right. You know. If you're going from square one. Yeah. So, like, taking a 72, like, a, a brand new Dodge Charger and just, you know, souping it up and... Right. Maybe, you know, it... I mean, it's, it's a beast. Yeah. You know, it makes sense. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Anything you'd like to add to the proceedings there, sir? No, I'm good. Thad, anything you'd like to add? I'm, I'm disappointed you didn't have anybody from the Goonies. I mean, you had like five Goonies just like 20 minutes down the road at the Pittsburgh Comic Con. You didn't like have any of those guys here? Um, I did send requests, and um, uh, none of my RSVPs were returned. Okay. So, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sure. Sean Aston just sent me a, a, a bird. I'm not quite sure what that meant. <laughs> Corey Feldman sent you a picture of him and Charlie Sa- Sheen. I mean, <laughs> Samwise Gamgee doesn't have time for me, I guess. <laughs> um, well, first off, I want to thank I want to thank you, Thad, for coming down. I always thank appreciate you. seeing you. It's good to see you and, and your your hard tack candy. <laughs> um, I want to thank Keith here at the the Nerd Corner for for having us. It's always fun recording here. I always love coming here. And uh, checking out the wares, if you will. And uh, if you're in the area, you should come down and check out the wares. Spend some money. Always a good thing. Um, and we are, remember, uh, you can, uh, if you want to send us an email that we won't read. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Uh, that email address is pittsburghnerd at yahoo.com. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Just search Pittsburgh Nerd. We're very, very easy to find. Ian's eyeball on comic books. Look at that. Um, we, we, <laughs> just search Pittsburgh Nerd on Facebook and Twitter where you can find us very easily. Uh, we are a member of a number of podcasting networks. Uh, you can find us on the Tangent Bound Network, the Weeby Geeks Network, and the Pod Breed Network. Uh, just give them a Google search. And you can find all the other great podcasts they have to offer. And lastly, as always, we want to thank you, dear listener, for checking us out each and every week. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to enjoy our hijinks and or shenanigans, whichever it is that you prefer. And so on that note, the dreamer has awakened. Peace.